So now we are going to know how the action potential works. This is the shape of the neuron, the axon, the cell body. When a stimulus like when a stimulus is applied, a neurotransmitter is released to its specific receptor. Let's say like this part. When the neurotransmitter is attached to the specific receptor, this channel open and allow sodium ions to enter. As the sodium ions enter inside the cell, it increases the positive charge. So here is the neurotransmitter enters or attached to the specific receptor. Sodium ions start to enter, then the other receptor and the other receptor and so on. This will increase the positive charge inside the cell. A neuron at rest, we said that the electric charge in this case is minus 70. When the positive charge starts to increase, it reaches minus 55, which is less negative charge. And this process continues till it reaches positive 30 so it is more positively charged inside the cell than outside the cell now this is the maximum it can reach when it reaches positive 30 the sodium channels start to shut down sodium channels shut down and potassium channels start to open to allow potassium ions to get outside so negative charge will be increased again it will continue in the same way but it will not stop at minus 70 it will continue to increase till it reach minus 90 this is called hypopolarization hypopolarization so what is meant by hypopolarization this means that you can't order this neuron anymore right now to give you a quick, strong response. It can't. It is below the threshold by a very big difference. So it is back now to rest how using the sodium, potassium, which allow sodium ions to be pumped outside the cell again and allow potassium ions to be pumped inside the cell and return the neuron to its resting phase.